つまいかなって。Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again, and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. It's a day that is full of blessings because we again have started the extension of our lettuce farm. The main discussion for this video is actually all about the. Start of our quail farm, but before we will go to the cage of our quails, I will report to you some improvements here in this mini greenhouse. Well, you know that we have started with 250 cups of lettuce. It was actually a success, and once more, I would like to thank Julius for teaching me on how to do these things. He has a channel, and you can also browse his channel, the G and J's Backyard Lettuce. You can. Browse his videos. Very educational. And uh, you will see guys that we are actually now fixing the pipes because these pipes are really needed as our grow bed for the lettuce and the method that we have adopted is the NFT the nutrient film technique where we will flood and drain the water in order to grow our lettuce and I would like to let you see the extension over there come on let's go and we will see how we did this extension so you will see guys that we have another bed right here these are the growing beds and you will see that we use this surrounded pvc and it's quite okay well i said quite because i don't know if this will really become successful until the harvest but so far so good you can see the lettuce are growing and they are healthy and you will also see that we have more than 300 cups right here actually this uh, first batch are 250 cups of lettuce and let me tell you that we have gained an income around 7,000 pesos by just growing 250 cups because we're actually selling 35 pesos per cup 
and I'm so happy because I was really able to make an income and I have proven it to myself that this lettuce farming is also very lucrative and you can also try this one because this will not entail hard work this will not also entail big capital you can just start small of course with the basic knowledge on how to do these things that's why I'm asking you if you browse the channel of the GNJ's lettuce backyard because he's teaching so many things the basic things for the hydroponics and you will see that right there also we have another extension and this will contain more than 400 cups and the additional 400 cups will now compose a total of 800 cups we also have another extension right there so I estimated this to reach around 1200 to 1300 cups and if we will sell this at 35 pesos per cup, you can compute how much we're gonna earn. So I'm really very inspired about this hydroponic system and I'm still learning as of this time and improving the, the quality of the lettuce that we're gonna produce and addressing all the issues, especially the balanced temperature. And right there, we already have the digging and we have this drum to contain our uh, water with nutrients. And then over here, come on, uh, we also have another growing beds and we will use also this drum. I am really very amazed how this works because it seems that you're just, you know, playing. I don't feel really into farming because the work is very light. You will just put in the cup, in the PVC and then you drain the water and then you will see that the lettuce will grow its day and this inspire me a lot and that's why i have made an extension and in the future we will again develop another area over there and expand this lettuce farming and just this morning i was invited through a phone call from a university professor inviting me to conduct lecture about this farming and inspire students to also engage in this kind of activity and i was so happy with this development because my purpose really is to educate to inspire and to tell people about the the things that I have experienced and the good practices that I have done in order also for them to earn an income So guys, we have the parent stacks of our quail and there are only 60 pieces. Actually, there are 10 males and 50 females and uh, this is already a very good start for a big quail farm. It's my attitude to start small and think big. The highest population of quail that I have raised reaches around 6,000 pieces, 6,000 heads. And these are massive actually and I have also sold massive of these eggs you can browse that in my old files or videos and it's there i am revealing all the secrets about the quail farm but then today we will make a brand new start with this quail farm and let me share with you about the materials that we have used and you will see guys that this material is made of the plastic screen and it has a hole of 1 fourth inch this is really good in order to prevent breakage of the eggs because the eggs will just roll down and then uh, we will just pick up right here so the inclination of this is actually had a distance of 2 inches and you will see that we have I uh, use the PVC pipe, we cut this into half, and then we use this as our feeder. And let me tell you that raising quail is also very lucrative because they will lay eggs very religiously. They are egg machines. And I had experienced before that there were times that 90 to 95% of the total population are really laying eggs religiously. 
and maybe you will ask about the feeding well at the weeks old or days old we give them some chick starter you can use the quail starter and also the chick starter it doesn't matter you provide them with vitamins and I am so happy that we already have hatched more than 100 heads of this quail. Actually, there are already three batches and the second batch are around 60 and the third batch we hatch around 40 heads. And in total, I think we have more than 100 layers that we're gonna put in here. So the materials are very, very cheap. The quails are also cheap birds, but this will provide us with good income. And one thing also that I can share with you about quail raising is the cleanliness, of course. You will see that we don't have issues about the fly because the dung are dry. You keep the dung dry because the moment it gets wet, then the fly will really be attracted and you will see maggots and it has foul odor. One tip that I can give you is never allow this dung of the quail to be soaked with water. So you will see here that our quails are already about to lay their eggs. And maybe you will ask, what's the indication that they are already about to lay eggs? Of course, you can estimate this because the quail birds will become adult and capable of laying eggs at the age of two months. And maybe you will ask, is it that fast? Yes, it's very fast. They will become mature in two months and three months and the massive laying of the eggs will start at three and a half to four months. Another thing that I would like to share with you about quail is to minimize the population of the male. In fact, if your intention is really to produce stable eggs, we don't anymore need the, the cocks, meaning the male quails, because they will just be an additional for the expenses for the consumption of the feeds. We will just raise all females and have a good business out of the eggs that they can produce. But in my case, my dream is to sell the chicks in order for other people also to have this kind of business and to engage a good business of the quail eggs. In the future, I can sell by the hundreds or by the thousands of these breeder quails and they will go to the provinces and raise their own quails and produce their own eggs. So these are actually my dream. Maybe you will ask Dexter what happened to your quail farm before? Well, it was doing good. To be honest with you, it was really doing good and it was gaining. But because of the pandemic, since we were locked down and we cannot anymore visit the farm and there were times that we cannot buy the food because it had been locked down. So it caused us a lot of damage and in fact, we decided to just give our quails to the neighborhood. They ate all the quails. It was very tragic for me to experience those kinds of uh, phenomenon, I call that. It doesn't matter how many times we fail. What matters is how many times we stand up and proceed and recover. So these are actually now the new beginning of our quail farm. We will produce chicks, we will extend the farm, we will expand them, and then it's my dream for this year, 2022, to raise more than 5,000 heads of quail. So that's going to be a massive farm where you can collect massive also of these eggs. And we can sell the eggs and we can produce the chicks. And I have to report to you another good news. We have gotten this property in order for us to expand our uh, farm. And in the future, you can see right here our fish pond and you will see also some birds and the quails and also the lettuces that we're gonna grow right here in this property. This is quite big. I'm so happy because this is just adjacent to the house where we are located. Actually, the blessings are coming in. If we only know how to thank God for all the blessings that 
He has uh, poured upon us. We give some credit to God. Then He will also prosper us in many ways. And God has millions of ways to prosper a man who has faith in Him. So these are the things that we can share with you so far, I hope. You will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please, please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly only here at Dexter's World.